Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of Ripple has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Ripple hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the upside with around 0.7% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 20.2 cents. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the price broke the 100 SMA to the upside decisively with higher than average volume, which is a strong signal. For this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 100 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 20.1 cents. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 20.1 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 20.0 cents it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 20.7 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the three hourly ribbon, so it is to see if the price will dip back below the ribbon or it will play as a support to the downside currently at around 20.2 cents. Looking at the three hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 19.6 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 21.0 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the daily ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 20.2 cents. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Looking at the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.